Hello guys! Today I finally decided to make another video. Um, the main reason I haven't uploaded much the past few months is that my recorder um, pretty much stopped working. So I finally got around to getting a new one and now I use OBS. It's um, free software and it seems okay but we will have to test that. Um, but it does seem it's a bit heavier on my CPU or whatever and I get some uh, lower FPS so I guess you will just have to deal with that. Uh, I hope it looks okay in the video. Um, but yeah, I haven't been doing a lot of Minecraft so uh, I'm not going to start uploading really frequently but I still have some stuff to upload so I will try to at least make some more videos. So today we have this, which I made together with Cellulance. Um, it's basically a um, instance repeater. It's this center thing, three by three by five. So yeah, um, that seems quite big for instance repeater, as you have that really nice um, one white one, which is only like three by three by one or something. Um, but this one does something that that one doesn't and that is okay so first off I guess let's just show that it works as you can see it's instant um, and we can give it a pulse and as you can see that works fine um, that would also work with uh, um, with the one white one but a three tick pulse wouldn't work with the one white one and it does with this one um, same with a two tick and even the same with a one tick. So this um, uh, this repeater can basically instantly um, transfer any pulses. So um, the difference is that this one only has a cooldown um, when turning off. So um, you have to wait a few ticks after you have sent the pulse before you can send the next one you can send like pulses one tick apart or something um, but it doesn't have any uh, cooldown for the turning off part um, and yeah that the most other instance repeaters do have that cooldown um, so yeah it's pretty nice and it even supports zero ticks so here's a really basic zero tick mono stable and if we trigger it, you can see it's perfectly in sync. So um, yeah, it's um, pretty okay in size and um, works pretty well. So let's go to the tutorial. Okay, so now for the tutorial. Um, this will be our input block, so we put our lever there. Below that we will have one piston with a block and a torch over here. Then we will have one non-sticky piston right there with a block. And some wires like so. And our other non-sticky piston right there. This is the part that will get cut off like this and we will have power going like so into that piston and then our resetting mechanism is this and now it should in theory work so if we place a block right there with a piston we should be able to see that these are synchronized um, in, I'm not exactly sure if this piston right here is stable so in, if it fails if it doesn't extend ever basically uh, you can place a extra repeater and this right there and then it should be stable for sure but I do think this should be stable as well but I haven't really tested it um, 
So yeah, the way that this actually works um, is something that um, uh, Sunland thought of. Um, basically, your normal um, uh, instant repeater, the, the default one, anyways, like not the weird one white one that uses um, a weird zero tick um, mono stable, but if you go with the traditional um, instant repeater, you would basically have a power source that always um, powers this redstone dust by default and when you uh, flick the lever it will um, yeah, extend piston to uh, allow power to go through at des that point another piston will extend to power the dust and that default um, power source will be turned off so that default power source will probably be a um, redstone torch with a repeater going into there but um, for this uh, system the, the default power source is still the piston itself that instantly retracts so Sunland thought of using a but for that so uh, yeah it's always powered by default um, and this makes it so there's not a um, signal that has to still flow through the system basically through the, those two ticks from an inverter and then a repeater but it will um, yeah, be completely instant on the falling edge um, so yeah it's basically yeah it cuts down on resetting time for um, after uh, it receives the signal but it still has a resetting time after it uh, unpowers so yeah you, there's a certain um, speed you can flick the lever with but at least um, turning it um, on and off again can be as fast as you want and then uh, yeah we didn't choose a stick piston here but a piston to pu push it back as um, it might be one tick or zero tick which would mean that the piston spits out its block and otherwise it wouldn't reset um, so yeah that's basically all but I guess I would just um, try to chain uh, a lot of these and uh, show you that it's really instant okay so here we have um, a lot of them I guess 14 but I didn't really count and although it seems graphically like this piston is slower um, I'm fairly certain that's a purely graphical glitch because if you look at the lamps you can see that they are the exact same um, speed I guess. Okay there it looks really weird graphically but um, let's try it a few more times it certainly looks like the right one is uh, slower than the piston itself but uh, yeah as said if you look at the uh, redstone block it seems like the same delay so I guess um, because of the yeah, pulse being, I don't know, quickly on and off or whatever it is. Um, it basically just makes the animation for the piston stable, but the behavior is exactly as it should be. So, um, we actually um, came up with some more designs, me and Sundance. Um, but I'm not exactly sure how stable those are. This one basically seemed like the most stable of them, that's why I showed it. Also, um, what I said that you uh, probably don't need this repeater um, you pretty much definitely do it seems like it's really wor uh, rare that you don't need them but I just found out by luck I guess but there's some serious race condition going on if you don't have it um, I assumed it could work because of the zero tick um, offset I guess the, the piston time in between but um, it definitely didn't I really needed all of them pretty much all of these in order to make it work so um, but I guess I will show you um, the other designs that are probably less stable so this is the other design and instead of making use of a butt switch it uses um, another piston to um, um, to basically re reset the block into the starting state um, but yeah the thing I'm not sure about if, is if it doesn't take time for the piston to extend in uh, one tick if it actually really starts retracting the block after that one tick so that's the thing um, yeah I'm not sure of if it's as stable as the budded version 
but apart from that it works fine and it's a bit smaller um, as this is only too wide really I don't count the output as you need an output anyways but you count however you want it's not really about size you know um, but yeah this in my opinion is two by uh, three by six and it works um, quite well I guess um, apart from perhaps not being completely stable although I'm not sure about that and then we have like one white version but it isn't really one white because um, with the system you can't really make it one white as it relies on cutting it off like this and there's no way to yeah <laughs> connect it in a straight line basically um, but yeah this is basically the same mechanism just um, with the components laid out a bit differently and this is a tiny bit smaller um, because it's um, 7 by uh, 5 which is 35 blocks instead of 36 um, but yeah I guess that's it for this video and I guess I'll see you in the next one